today. I've got another one somewhere. Look at you. Look at you. Is that you? This is Ava. She's one of the twins, so you might hear some noise around here today, but I'm going to still try to do some beef stroganoff and skillet cornbread. How's that sound? Annie, can you come here and say hi? Can you come here and say hi to me? Look, who is that? Mm -hmm. Is that you? Mm -hmm. And that's Ava. Mm -hmm. Come here, Annie. Megan, will you lift her up for me? I'm always talking about... Looky here. There's the other one. Look on there. Can you see yourself? Let's look in just a minute. Look, here you're going to come here. I've got to do this and then I'll meet the room. Yeah. Look at there. And that's my daughter, Megan. And that's Anna. Can you say hi, Anna? Hi. 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 You going to go outside and play? You going to go outside and play? Okay, tell them bye. Bye. Can you blow them sugars? <laughs> she's going outside. I'm going to be right here. Um, I've got two sets of grandchildren. I've got an older set that call me Mama J, and I've got this set that calls me and I, and Meanie, and I've decided to spell that M-E-E-N-I-E. But they call me Meanie. But I hope you're having a great day. And you know, it's nice to share a little bit of me and my family with you so you can know just a little more about me. So we'll see how this video goes. All right, I am going to start with my cornbread first because it's going to go in the oven while I'm going to do beef stroganoff. Now this is a cornbread that we've used a lot. It's a southern cornbread. It's got a little bit of sugar. I know. If you, if you will take your frying pan, and you're supposed to use a 9-inch. I don't have a 9-inch, so I used a 10-inch frying pan. And I used a 10-inch frying pan. I've already gone and melted the butter, put it in the oven. The oven's set at 425. You can go outside. You might shut the door. You want to get an M&M? All right. Nothing like bribing those kids with just a little chocolate. Anyway, so go ahead and have your oven set at 425. Uh, if you don't have an iron skillet, you don't have to. You can do this in a regular uh, 9 by 13. It's just the uh, tradition of the iron skillet on this recipe. So I'm going to start out with a my mixing bowl with my Mickey Mouses. And I've got another confession to tell y'all. You know, I'm, I'm getting more personal with y'all all the time. I have a tooth that's loose. It's a cap. It's my front tooth. And I'm just waiting for it just to sling out here. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow so every once in a while I catch myself talking a little different. Now that's just being real honest, isn't it? If my tooth falls out, I promise you I will run and turn this video off really quick. That's what I promise. Alright. You've got your iron skillet. You have got your butter already melted, and you've got to know who I am. I am Jessica Russell, your southern hostess. And I would like for you to tag three people today, and I'm going to give away another apron. Um, it's a black apron, and it's got the letter J Hart on it. So if you are uh, wanting to win one of the aprons that we give away, I need you to tag three or more, three or more friends. Okay? But let's start with our cornbread. We're going to start out with cornmeal. And all of this, guys, you can buy at any of the grocery stores. So I'm going to start out, let me make sure I tell you, one and a fourth cup of cornmeal. One and a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. And I'm just going to whisk that just a little, get those two together. Then I have added sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, let me make sure, two tablespoons of sugar, uh, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And that's all in here, I think. <laughs> Actually, here's my sugar. So much for thinking. 
All right. Now I'm just going to whisk that together. And that's all your dry ingredients. And I'm going to make just a little hole in the middle. And that's where I'm going to put my liquid. And your liquid consists of one egg. Someone told me that on the video. In fact, I hear this a lot, and I love it, that I remind them of Paula Dean, and she is one of my heroes. So that is a wonderful compliment. I don't know if y'all seen her lately. She has lost so much weight. I have one egg and one and three-fourths cup of buttermilk. Let me see who's jumping down here. Hello, Sherry. Hi, Tammy. Uh, hello, Sandra. Hello, Donald and Mary, Mary Lynn. Let's see what I got. Phyllis. Y'all are so sweet. I love all the hearts. Um, we were doing one of our live videos which you can catch us on Tuesday at Occasions 5 Chefs page at 5 o'clock. Actually, we're going to change it to 5.30. A lot of our people are saying they're on the road trying to get home, so we're going to give you 30 more minutes to get home. So we're going to do it um, Tuesdays, 5 o'clock, 5.30, Occasions 5 Chefs. But I had a girl on there, and she was just putting all these angry faces. And I was like, wonder what she's angry about. But, you know, some people just like to be that way. And see all those hearts floating up? That makes me happy. All right, I'm just going to pour this right in the middle. I've made just a little hoe. And when you're making a cake, that helps. This is just habit of when you're doing uh, liquid with dry. And I'm just going to stir this up. And we're going to put it in our frying pan. And mine's going to be a little thinner cornbread. But that's okay. That's it. So we've got our cornbread. And I stayed home today, which is very unusual for me. So I went and made my husband a pot of beans to go with this. Well, the first pot of beans, and I know better, I went into my closet and started cleaning out my closet. And then I smelt something, and I burnt the whole pot of beans. So I had to make a second pot of beans today. And my husband comes in around lunchtime, and he's like, did you burn the beans? And I was like, uh-huh. He said, you put another, another group on? And I was like, uh-huh. So he's going to enjoy just your good old beans and cornbread with a, probably a side of uh, some uh, slices of onion beside it. butter in my pan. Brown butter is just before it gets burnt, but it has just a different little taste to it. So if you stay by your oven and you're close enough to it to watch it, brown your butter. Don't burn your butter, but brown your butter. All right, I'm going to put that in the oven, 425. And I've set my timer on. All right, we're going to start our beef stroganoff. And I'm going to let, hopefully, the last time I used this, it didn't get hot enough. But I don't know if I'm connected it or what. I have never made this one. Uh, beef stroganoff can be, me, be made in so many different recipes. I always try to find an easy one that I know that when you're getting home, uh, you can throw it together quickly. So, um, I got two sirloin steaks, and I've sliced them thin. And I've taken oil and salt and pepper and just tossed that together. I've got uh, my onion already sauteing in butter. So when this gets to sizzling a little, we're going to put our steak in there. I hope I don't have to go to the stove, but I might with it again. Let's see who's talking to me. Okay, my cornbread is more like a, a, a cake consistency. 
In fact, that batter looked like a cake. If you saw me pouring it, it was as it was just just about a cake consistency for sure. Thank you, Marianne, for sharing. Make sure you're tagging some of those people. Ava and Anna, yes. I, I let them stay in the kitchen with me, and sometimes it's a mess, but I'm a firm believer to keep those kids in the kitchen. I, I'm always afraid, like I've been telling y'all, so that's why I want you to share my page with younger people so we can get younger people more interested in cooking. Uh, I know that it's happening because some of the people on here are saying, I have two small kids, what's something I can cook easy, and that's uh, when I get home from work. So, yes, share these pages. All right. Let's put our steak in with a, a, once again, this is two sirloin steaks. I, thigh, uh, thigh, I told you, this two. <laughs> I have sliced them thin, and I'm going to add them to my onion that's sauteing. And let's just hope this tooth stays in. You talking about a, a girl turning into a hillbilly really quick. And can you see, I'll bring that over just a little. Now let's talk about the chicken pot pie while I've got this going to brown on both sides. If any of you made the chicken pot pie, one of the questions was, how about the eggs in there? And I had a problem with that too. That chicken pot pie was delicious. It comes out looking more like a cobbler uh, look on the top. It, it, you know, the bread doesn't rise to the top. It just kind of gives that flat cobbler look. But it was absolutely delicious. And if that doesn't brown quick, we'll move it over to the stove. And, and um, I will tell you, I, I hopefully in a couple of months, maybe, maybe might take a year, I'm working on a studio that I can just cook in. Actually, I'm making a, what I'm going to call actually the gathering for my girlfriends to come over. And we're going to have a cook place and we're going to have a quilting place and a place to oil paint and and I'm real excited. That may take me longer than what I would like for it to, but it is in the thinking stages. In the thinking stages. And I love when you ask me questions because sometimes I'm sitting here, and I'm in the house by myself, and it feels really strange talking to myself. Okay, if you've just jumped on, we're making a skillet cornbread, and we're doing beef stroganoff, and I've already got my husband some beans in the warming drawer, the ones I didn't burn. And let me just tell you, beans can smell up your whole house when they're burnt. <laughs> Everybody asked me, do I like this copper? And I do because it's one of the easiest pots to clean I've ever had. But as far as heating your food, I think it's not really set up for the frying experience as well. Y'all know I don't like to touch that meat. Okay, let's put it over here. music went off. I had Rod Stewart playing. Anybody else like Rod Stewart? I was lucky enough to get to see him in Las Vegas last year, I believe. He was great. I 
Tell you what, while that's going on, I'm just going to take my mushrooms and go ahead and start browning those with the onion. White woman can't handle two pots, one in front of her and one behind her, right? All right, let's see. Okay, yes, tell me who you are and where you're from. And a lot of people watch all the time, and I appreciate that. And I want to give somebody an apron, so share or tag three friends. And let's get some younger girls in here. We are happy that y'all, thank y'all for doing that. My shirt, my shirt came from the Occasions Five Chefs. It came in the Southern Occasions Boutique. If you've never been to Occasions in Portland, Tennessee, you need to come. And this was one of the shirts that was going to be on the auction. And I was like, mm, I think I like that shirt. So I didn't let this one get on the auction. Isn't that bad? I kept it for myself. Now, when you're browning your meat, uh, you just want to get it brown on both sides because it's going to cook a while in the beef broth. So you don't have to be, and I am a medium well done girl. So um, I used to be well well, but I've, I've gone down to medium well. How do you like your steak? Uh, I have a friend that likes hers. I don't even know what you call it. It's, it's worse than rare, so, and you know who I'm talking about. So, we try not to sit beside each other, but how do you like your steak? While that's finishing up, I'm going to do this afterwards. You can put this beef stroganoff on your rice, but I've got egg noodles, and I'm going to cook this afterwards because that's no big deal. You know how to do that. But this is going to be, uh, uh, it would be really well on the rice or on the egg noodles, which is our choice here. So when I get off of here, I will make the egg noodles, and I'll put this in. I'll just let this simmer and uh, let that meat cook all the way through. Somebody asked me on the last video about this uh, if that was a window behind me, and I uh, know it's not, it's a, uh, a print. It's, it's actually made out of wood, and it's really thick, and it's got several coats of polyurethane on top of it. So when it splashes up on there, I just wipe it off. And this was in my daughter's house, and when they moved, she was just going to sell it, and I was thinking, I think I want it. And it just matches all my colors in here, and I love all those colors. this back over here and we may have to use it again I hope not but that made it a whole lot quicker I have basically just browned both sides to get rid of the pink on both sides I've got my onions in here I've got my mushrooms in here and I'm going to salt and pepper just a little more I did that before with my olive oil and then I'm going to take some flour three tablespoons 
and I'm just going to, the juice that's left over, I want just to stir that in until I get most of the flour dissolved. And this is going to help make your gravy. All right, guys. Now I'm going to add beef broth. And that's just about two cups. In fact, it was one can, just one regular can. And that is going to absorb the flour. And we're going to let that thicken. And if you feel like you need any more, you can add more beef broth or you can add a little bit of water. But I think this is going to be okay. Because you want this to thicken up. And when it starts thickening, the last thing I'm going to do is add a half a cup of sour cream in this. So basically you've heard the recipe. Let's talk about it while that's thickening up. And the cornbread is looking great, so make sure you wait to see it. But you saw how easy that was. I took two sirloin steaks. I, I cut them in uh, strips. I put them in a bowl. I added a little olive oil and salt and pepper. I uh, sauteed an onion. I added them, um, you saw me have to go back to this side, but brown your meat on both sides, bring it back, put your mushrooms in there with your onions, add your meat, put the uh, flour in there before you do it, a liquid to it. If not, you're going to have those um, little balls of flour. And then add your liquid broth and a little bit, and I say, say this, my husband and I, we, we're strange on some of this stuff, we're not garlic people. And Worcester sauce, it asks for a tablespoon, but I'm just going to put a little sprinkling in there. But if you like that, it's two tablespoons, which will be on your recipe that you see. And I've told y'all that before. It's not necessary on the recipe. You can change it. It's up to you to change to your like. So when you're following a recipe, unless you've already tasted it and know it's great and that's what you like. But if not, like this had garlic, I didn't put garlic in here. But if you like the garlic, you add it to it. This is thickening up great. I don't know if you can see the consistency. But that is going to be a beautiful looking gravy look. And I'm going to give it a few more minutes. And let's see if anybody has a question. Oh. Yes, it is. Hold on a minute. Thank you so much. Is that better? <laughs> Thank you. Let's see how bright I get. Jackie D, the cornbread is so easy. Just go back to the beginning of it and, and watch it really quick. It was so easy, but it's delicious. It's a recipe that we use here quite often. So I can guarantee you, this stroganoff, I've never made it this way before. So it is not tried and true. But now the light is a little better, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Uh, guys, you can buy these shirts. There, there won't be one just like this, but we have the cutest clothes at the Southern Occasions Boutique. And we have our auction on Tuesday nights at 5.30 instead of 5 o'clock. 5.30. All right, I am ready to do the very last thing. And then I'm going to show you that cornbread, even though it's not all the way, the timer's not gone off. But let's put the sour cream in here. This is a half a cup of sour cream. My kiddos are going to eat with me tonight. Uh, Megan's husband uh, has that stomach flu going around. 
So I called to see if they needed supper, and then some of this is going to go up to my mom and dad's house to feed them supper. So it's going several different places tonight. And you can see the color of the gravy has changed to a, uh, just a real light color because of the sour cream. And I am going to have to taste that to make sure we don't need any more salt and pepper. I know the, the meat's going to be fine. The mushroom's going to be fine. But let's take a sample of the gravy. And I hope it's not too hot. Boom. It's good. It's going to be really good on those egg noodles. I'm going to show the, the cornbread, and then I'm going to get off of here. Isn't that beautiful? And it smells great. So I believe hubby's going to like his beans and cornbread, and I believe everybody else is going to like the, the stroganoff. So. You will have both of these recipes up as soon as Taylor gets them up for you. And if you have any questions about these recipes, and I guess that's it. I'm going to try to jump on again sometime this week before Sunday. And I so appreciate it. Make sure you share them, please. Sharing's caring. And I'm going to pick a winner, somebody that tags three or more people. And how do you tag? A lot of people have asked. You just type their name the way they use it on Facebook. If it turns a little blue, when you, or if you tap on it, it will go to their page. That's how you know you've tagged it. If you, tag, if you, uh, if you put your cursor on there and you push it and it doesn't go anywhere, You've either typed the right name wrong or you haven't done it correctly. So, quick lesson. Let me turn this down. It's bubbling. It smells good. Have a great afternoon. It's finally shining in Tennessee. I think it got up into the 70s today. Uh, it's been a beautiful day, and I hope you a beautiful rest of the week. Blessings. Bye.